Hello everybody. I know it's been like a week since I have been on here <laughs> doing a video. But in that past week, I have been um, watching the Scott Peterson documentary on Peacock about his um, uh, trying to get exonerated. <laughs> but before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and the notification bell. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, Scott Peterson uh, is trying to get exonerated from uh, murdering his wife and unborn child. Now, this case has been in like the national news and in the spotlight and everything. And so I came across the documentary on Peacock and started watching it. And it took me a few days because, you know, I got busy, had to stop, do housework, do appointments and all of this other crap. So, <laughs> and then I wanted to do a little bit of research on it to see. Apparently, the Los Angeles Innocence Project, other, other name is LA Innocence Project. Apparently, they are picking up the case and uh, wanting to go back because there has been evidence that we have not seen at all, that the public has not seen. So I thought, oh man, you know, all we heard was him, you know, murdering his wife and unborn child. We didn't know that the day that his wife, Lacey Peterson, went missing, there was a burglary that day. So, yeah, there was a burglary across the street from them. So, uh, they are thinking maybe she came across the burglars and confronted them because apparently the burglars torched the van they were using. <laughs> and there was a mattress in the van that had blood stains. But uh, at the time, the police wouldn't uh, listen to any other evidence or anything. Um, they just um, kind of were focused on Scott Peterson and him only, that they didn't want to hear anybody. And apparently that morning that she had disappeared, people around the neighborhood had saw her walking her dog. So, uh, and they didn't take those people into accountability, you know. So there, there's a lot that, you know, us public have not seen. And watching this documentary, I thought, oh man, you know, way back then I thought he was guilty as hell. But now I'm kind of rethinking, you know, what if he isn't guilty? You know, what if we have it all wrong? We don't know. And apparently that 
LA Innocence Project is trying to get the evidence uh, re-examined. And so far they were only able to get the duct tape that was bound around her um, retested. And the, the judge doesn't want to retest anything else so far. So apparently, you know, but I think maybe it would be a good idea to have it retested because back then, you know, there was technology, but now our technology has skyrocketed. So I think maybe that would be a good idea for the judge to sign off on, you know, getting stuff re-examined, you know? And I thought, wow, the LA Innocence Project would not even pursue Scott Peterson's case if they thought, you know, it wasn't winnable. So, and right now, Scott Peterson has, he has served 20 years and he's serving life without the possibility of parole. So I thought, wow, there must really be something to this case if the L.A. Innocence Project is diving into it because they won't touch cases if it's not winnable. So they must really think there's something going on within this case. But I, I don't know. I mean, at the time, I thought he was guilty as hell. But now watching the, docu the documentary and then uh, hearing about what the L, L yeah, the L.A. Innocence Project, <laughs> I'm getting hung up on that, what they're there for, you know, so... If this case wasn't winnable, they wouldn't even touch it. So, and they've been around since 1992, according to their website. I went to their website. And they've helped hundreds of people get exonerated and stuff like that. So, that's my thoughts. I don't know. I mean, what do you all think about this? <laughs> but don't forget to hit the like button, the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.